Hey guys, Metal Viking 82 here, back to show off some more plunder that I have acquired here recently. I know you're probably saying, well, what the hell are you doing downstairs recording again? Well, recently I got some new shelving units to properly house my vinyl. So I've been spending the last several days working on, um, in between work and everything else, getting those put together, taken upstairs, get all my vinyl on them, and uh, rearranging a bunch of shit. And I've got everything set up now. Uh, still working on a few things that I'm trying to figure out what to do with. And, uh, yeah, my room is just a giant clusterfuck right now. So I have to pretty much, I didn't want to wait any longer. I've got a bunch of stuff I need to get put away. So I want to go ahead and record this in another video here soon. But, uh, yeah, show off a few things that I got. I recently placed an order through uh, JSR Direct. Um, never ordered from them before, but uh, Broken Hope had posted on Facebook that they were having, this shows how long ago it was, a huge kind of July 4th sale. And, um, you know, stuff was like 70 to 80% off, I think it was. I mean, just insanely cheap prices. And I couldn't pass it up. And I've been wanting to get some stuff from Broken Hope. I mean, I have all their albums, but I've been wanting to get some merch from them. But, um, yeah, I'll show you what I got. I got this uh, awesome wristband, which I've been wearing on and off here lately when I'm not working. Paid like I think $2 for this as well as this here which is a uh, cool little pin that I'm gonna be putting on my vest. And uh, finally picked up a couple shirts. Got uh, Loathing artwork shirt. And on the back it says Loathing. It's uh, probably my favorite, one of my favorite I should say Broken Hope albums because of the song Siamese Screams, which was the very first uh, song I ever heard from them. And I've been wearing that as a sleeping shirt here recently. Also got um, Grotesque Blessings. Always love that artwork. I just love how the logo looks with the flames and everything. And it says Grotesque Blessings on the back. A lot of people don't like that album. I mean, it's definitely not their greatest for sure, but I still think it's a pretty decent album. And uh, those I paid, I think, I want to say because they were 3X, like 9 bucks, which for a 3X is <laughs> excellent price. And uh, this next thing I got, and the last thing I got from them, I paid $18 for this. You cannot get a hoodie, especially in a 3X, for under $40, it seems, anywhere. But I managed to get this awesome hoodie that says Broken Hope on the front. And uh, has the Omen of Disease artwork on the back so once it starts getting cold here in indiana i'm definitely going to be wearing that a lot next up i showed off that i had gotten the uh, new cytotoxin in a pre-order and i got the uh bundle and uh that came with a artwork shirt and on the back it says no human voice will ever be heard in sector zero got a picture of the band there and uh while i was at it I decided, you know what, what the fuck? I want to get uh, their last album's artwork shirt. So I picked that one up as well. Fucking love Cytotoxin. Amazing band, the new album. Really awesome. And the last shirt that I got, um, this was actually the first album I ever heard from this band. I actually picked it up on a whim. I just heard, I knew the name, and I saw the artwork. And I was like, you know what? I haven't heard anything from them, but I've got to pick this up. And I've been a fan ever since. But this is uh, the Unleash the Carnivore artwork shirt by Devourment. Really awesome band. Love that artwork. Can't wait to wear that. And I got a few CDs here to show off. Uh, these first two came from a guy I'm friends with on Facebook who lives here in Indiana. And uh, he just messaged me one day. And he's like, hey, he goes, I got a couple uh, extra copies of some CDs. Do you, do you want these? I was like, well, what are they? And he kind of explained to me what they were. And I was like, eh, what the hell? I'll give them a chance. You know, they're free. So, hey, I might end up like them. But uh, this is Progeny Terrestre Pura with UMA. Really cool artwork. Has a little bit of a, as you see, spot gloss to it. And I haven't really listened to this all the way through just yet. But it's basically uh, black metal mixed with... Uh, electronics you know it's, it's very interesting to listen to and this next one is out on dark descent so i knew as soon as i you know saw the dark descent logo i was like this has got to be good because they never put out anything bad but uh this is antihedron i believe it is what it's called by devouring star 
This is just a uh, three track little EP 2017 release. Really awesome. Don't like the packaging because it's one of those little digi sleeves. As you can see, I've got the disc and a little uh, different sleeve that hopefully protected a little bit better. And this last little stack of stuff all came from uh, New Standard Elite, which, as I've said before, if you're a fan of Brutal Death Metal, give New Standard Elite a shot. They put out some killer shit. But the uh, first thing I got, and the funny thing is, is I had just gotten my last order from New Standard Elite, and as soon as I got that, I ended up placing this order. But uh, this is a uh, Mnemonic Wet Brain Syndrome with their uh, self-titled EP. And... Uh, just a one-man project, and even though if you look them up on the uh, Metal Archives, they actually say that they're from Antarctica, which was, you know, everybody that sees it, they're like, holy shit, a band from Antarctica? But this guy's actually from uh, New York, I think it is, but still, really, uh, really awesome one-man brutal death metal. And uh, picked up the uh, two, was it two-song promo 2017 by Asphyxiate. Really sick artwork as always. This is uh, put out through, uh, hmm, Groupies Merch. Never heard of that before, but uh, yeah. Like I said, just a little two-song EP, sick stuff as always. And this right here is the reason that I actually placed this order. And I want to say this was limited to 100 copies, I think. And they had like four different cover art variants, but he was down to the last two kinds and out of the two i like this one the best but this is bleeding with depulsing epidermal perforations a little three song ep here and uh as you can see he wrote my name on the uh inside there i guess just uh i think he said it was to keep people from flipping them when they bought them i don't know still it's kind of cool we have uh, Iniquitous Deeds with their uh, EP, four song EP. Been meaning to pick this up for quite some time. Every time I have ordered here recently from New Standard Elite, I keep wanting to pick this up and I keep forgetting to do it. And I'm really glad he hadn't run out of stock by the time I actually got around to doing it. And the last thing that I got, another one that I've been meaning to get for a while. This is, I hope it's either pronounced Nithing or Nithing, I can't remember. Fetid Reek of Interminable Existence. Just some uh, really killer, brutal death metal. Sorry for the reflections in that. This new phone, that's the first time I've recorded down here with it, so kind of fighting it. Yeah, really good stuff, though. So, yeah, that is going to do it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing. And until next time, stay brutal.